Hello everybody, Hunter Biggs here, back with a review for y'all. Um, and well, today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in a while here on the channel. Let's do a predictions video for Wrestle Pay Reviewer by... <laughs> I believe the last one I did was all the way back in January this year. <laughs> for like, the Royal Rumble, so... <laughs> this haven't been quite a while, but... And well, this time I'm going to be doing one for... One the Another one of the big four for WWE by... That being Survivor Series... <laughs> Although it's re although in recent years it's been seen as the brand versus brand event there between Raw and SmackDown, where the way brand gets pretty much getting bright rights for the next year or so. Uh, so <laughs> that's gonna be happening again this year. Hi everyone. Um also that's gonna be happening everybody during Survivor Series is the uh, we're gonna be having Undertaker's final farewell everybody. As for those of you who may not know, Undertaker made his debut all the way back in nineteen ninety. So he's been with the with WWE for a bit. So it'll be, he's been with WWE for just about thirty years now. So and he's only having his final farewell address to wrestling fans there. So, <laughs> so this could possibly be the last that we'll see on Taker there yeah, on WWE for at least for a while there. So our Taker on behalf of the wrestling fans out there, thank you for thank you done for the business. You have to go down to, as well as the all time greats out to take you. I want just a minor plug before I get the predictions of uh daughter Undertaker's been read there by you know I'm gonna be doing a video kind of kind of pay tribute to Undertaker there doing a countdown or a list of sorts of some of my favorite rivalries from the Undertaker so that should be out sometime tomorrow so make sure you all stay tuned for that there so make sure it's gonna be released you know on the day of Survivor Series so make sure you all stay tuned for that there so. Uh. I'll be happy there, but now, that makes everybody, let's go and get right to the matches I'll be happy for this year's Survivor Series. Alright, the first match everybody we got here is the Battle of the World Champions for each brand. It's the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre versus the Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Now, this was, this was going to be Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns there, but McIntyre did recently win the championship, the WWE Championship back for Randy Orton this past Monday on Raw there. Plus, there was kind of a hit there after McIntyre came on the previous episode of SmackDown. Um, pretty much confronted with Braids there, so eh. And well, I think a match between Orton and Roman would have worked there. Um, so there is a little history between the two. It is a heel for seal match up there. Uh, don't... be kind of hard to, you know, see how that goes there, so... Do you feel like McIntyre, McIntyre, McIntyre against Roman would be better option? There is more recent history between the two there. Plus, usually those two fight, it's been pretty, they usually go pretty hard at each other there when it comes to fighting and whatnot there in the ring, so. Now everybody, as for who I think is going to win this match, everybody, um, I'm going to predict Roman Reigns to win there, um, to win mainly because of two, uh, either two things going to happen there. Number one, uh, Jey Uso's got to get involved somehow and maybe help Roman or something like that there. Get the win. Or number two, everybody. Rose who've been followed by Day Raw there. But, uh, there has been kind of building something up between Sheamus and McIntyre here. Um, they've had some friendly interactions recently there. But I felt but you felt like I got the feeling that, you know, assuming if the feud with Ray Orton's not done yet, um... Braveheart. Assum assuming if the feud with Orton's done with for the time being, I uh, feel like the next rivalry that makes that Dwayne is probably gonna be doing is with Sheamus versus McIntyre there for the WWE Championship. Um, I feel like Survivor Series would be a good time to kind of start kicking that off there. That may have Sheamus get involved there and cause McIntyre to win somehow and stuff like that there. So yeah. But either way or what, um, I'm going with Roman Reigns to, for the win here. So. Uh, it's in his match with McIntyre, between him and McIntyre. Next, everybody, we have the Men's Survivor Series elimination match, everybody, between Team Raw and Team SmackDown. Representing Raw, we have AJ Styles, Keith Lee, Braun Strowman, Sheamus, and Matt Riddle. And on Team SmackDown, we have Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Torben, Seth Rollins, and Otis. Now, I assume Otis was... Now, I assume Otis was... Probably added to the matchup there due to him winning his match against Dolph Ziggler last episode since I 
From what I saw the YouTube clips there, but uh, didn't necessarily see they, you know, now it's always as a final member of the team or whatnot there, so. <laughs> that they just rarely had to be there, so. But anyways, um. Now I look at both teams here, they, they, both teams look pretty solid there, but. I'll probably have to go with Team Raw there, mainly because they've gotten the more interaction with them there, while uh, the Superstars of SmackDown have been kind of doing their own thing there, but then we haven't really seen any members of SmackDown direct with one other there, but maybe except, with the exception of uh, Kevin Owens and Jey Uso there, um, uh, but I just probably kind of do with they, their own thing there, um, like King Corbin was part of 8-man tag for what I saw there, and Seth Rollins fought Murphy, and Owens didn't show up this past was so sat down, so there's been like little interaction with the team sat down there. Well, there's been a lot of interaction with Team Raw there, you know, kind of build them up there as a team that you know, and you want to see Paige here, but probably won't get the win there. So uh, there's this side, whatnot there. So yeah, I'll probably going to go with Team Raw for the mids, but for the for, 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 for the men's Spire Series of Leisure match, everybody. So. Anyway, next, next up, everybody, we have the second Survivor Series Leisure Matchup one, which is the Women's Survivor Series Matchup, everybody. Team Raw for Team SmackDown. On Team Raw, we have Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Lacey Evans, Peyton Royce, and Lana. And on Team SmackDown, we got Bianca Belair, Rhea Riot, Liv Morgan, Bailey, and Natalia. Now, uh, Bay Rose and Dave Burke were originally part of Team Raw there, but, um... I did, I ended up hearing that May Rose got injured IRL, so they kind of rid her off there and stuff like that. And uh, Dana Brooke got blindsided by Reckoning, aka a Yim, for Retribution. So, um, and Pierce just decided to play Lacey Evans and, and Peyton Royce as the replacements for those two there, the Wiz matchup, so. And so it's a mid there by, uh, probably both, you know, both teams of women are very solid there. Um, but I'm probably, if I have to narrow it down, I'm probably to go with Team SmackDown there. Hmm. Bailey, because, uh, well, uh, Bailey's part of the team there. Bailey's had a heck of a year. You know, she recently had ended her few offices at Sasha Banks there. And, you know, she had, uh, she was uh, with Shane for over 180 days there. Um, and Bianca Belair. You know, I see her being a big star, a big player for the Wiz Division for SmackDown there, so. And plus, I feel like they'll get a lot better compared to Team Raw there. Well, <laughs> Manaya and um, uh, Chayna have just been kind of like, they've pretty much been bossing everybody around so like there, so. Um, uh, might come by to bite them there, uh, so. So, um, yeah, we're probably going to go into a Team SmackDown for the women's. So I see match up there, so <laughs> now everybody next up here we have Asuka versus Sasha Banks here, the Battle of the Women's Champions. And anyway, this is gonna be a tough one for me to pick since both Asuka and Sasha Banks are some of my favorite women in WWE there. Um I do think this is gonna be a heck of a matchup. Um So I kind of had to narrow it down of who could probably benefit more from the win there. And so at the end, I had to go with Sasha Banks for this one here. Uh, although I won't be upset if Oscar ends up winning, but Oscar's had a pretty solid year um, this year by... Uh, so I feel like it won't hurt her. It, won't, it will not hurt her to lose here, Sasha Banks. So yeah, I'm probably going with Sasha Banks for the Wiz Shooter matchup here. So uh, the, uh, sorry, but between the Battle of the Wiz Champions, everybody. So yeah. All right, well, next up here, we have the New Day versus the Street Profits here. Uh, the Battle of the Tag Team Champions. Of, uh, I think this is going to be a really good match there. I really like both the New Day and the Street Profits there. <laughs> um, but kind of similar situation there. I kind of had to figure out, there are down the winner, who could probably benefit the more for the win there. And I probably had to go with the New Day for this one here, everybody. Since, you know, they recently came back. Well, the Street Profits have been pretty active this year there, you know. And Silver so Oscar, they've had a pretty solid year, so it probably won't hurt them to lose this matchup here. So, uh, for the Tag Battle of Tag Champions, everybody, I'll be going with the New Day. So, yeah.
Hey, everyone, we all got a couple matches left here by him, uh... Uh, our final champion versus champion match, everybody. We have Bobby Lashley, United States Champion, represent Raw, and these are kind of old champions, Amy Zayn, represent SmackDown. So, now I, now I don't know who's, I don't they know for sure who's gonna come out on top here, but, but, uh, I have a feeling that we haven't seen the last of these interactions between the Hurt Business and Retribution. Those who have been following Raw recently there, the Retribution and the Hurt Business have been feuding a lot recently there. Now, granted, they've taken a little bit of a break the past couple weeks there, but I feel like that Retribution may be looking to get a little payback on the Hurt Business there. So, why see how it is? Uh, Bobby Lashley may be dominating the match up here, but Retribution will come in and start a brawl with the members of Hurt Business there. That'll cause Bobby to get distracted, and so he's able to take advantage of that to get the win somehow there, so... So for this match, everyone, I'm probably going to go with, like I said, I'm probably going to go with Zemi Zane for the win this one here, so. And everybody, the last match up here uh, is the dual brand Bowerio, which is going to be on the kickoff show here, so. Um, uh, uh, now, everyone, I really don't know who's going to be participating in this match up here, so. Mm-hmm. So I'll just pick a random winner from, uh, I'll just pick someone random from the battle reel there, uh, for each, one for each braid there, uh, for, if, for more I'll pick, I'll probably go with Ali, um, for, you know, kind of help build him retribution up there a bit more since, you know, uh, you know, they've, they've got, well, we're off the hot start there, they've been kind of getting lackluster there, stuff like that there, uh, um, in terms of the matches and whatnot there, but they've been getting better, but, yeah, they they haven't been seen as a serious threat recently there, and I feel like a win could help help them bounce back there. So, uh, I mean, all he's got to win over Rick, Ricochet or Tribution managed to get the win over T Raw in the eight man tag matchup, but uh, I feel like they kind of need a couple more wins there to kind of help build them back up there. So, for my raw pick, I'll be going with Ali. As for a SmackDown pick, um, Lars Sullivan. I'm uh, now I know Lars Sullivan is. Got a lot of controversy this past year for multiple reasons, um, uh, and a lot of people are not very happy with him seeing him back in WWE there, um, I'm not gonna get into that here, since, you know, try my best not to get into politics or controversies here about videos there and stuff like that, um, but those of you who are curious, I do recommend you check out the stuff with Lars Sullivan there, and you'll get better to see why a lot of people have been upset with him. The past year or two, something like that. But despite the backlash from the fans there, do we seem to be booking Sullivan relatively strong there? I feel like I don't, and I feel like that's not gonna be slowing down anytime soon. So, um, so I feel like do we do have big plans for all Sullivan there? As much as you know, it annoys. Different people there and stuff like that, you know, understandably why, you know. But if they're going to push him up as the next big monster, then I feel like, you know, that this battle world is a good way to do it there. So I'll probably, so like I said, for a SmackDown pick, I'll probably going to be Lars Sullivan there. So, yeah. Well, everybody, that concludes my predictions for Survivor Series, everybody. It'll be coming out sometime tomorrow, everybody, as I, you know, this video will be uploaded on a Saturday there, so... And everyone will be doing a review of Survivor Series there. Uh, as yeah, sorry about the birth there. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, everyone, I will be doing a review for Survivor Series, everybody. That will be released sometime Monday, so make sure you're all seated for that. That concludes. Thanks for this video, everyone. If you all liked what you saw here, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. So that way we'll be seeing the videos here on the channel. I'll see you all next time. The next time, everybody, peace out. Peace.